Well, night one of this year's virtual Festival International is in the book. As Iman Boyd shows us, although it's not as good as the real thing, festival goers are embracing the virtual presentation. Although Festival International won't be happening here in downtown Lafayette for a second year, that's not stopping festival goers from enjoying the festival right here in the comfort of their own homes. We really miss festival. We really miss the whole community coming together and being able to celebrate. Instead of watching festival solo, Melissa Llewellyn decided to make it a family affair at home. We invited all our friends and we're watching the festival and we're drinking festival punch from legends and we're having the best time. Even though festival is fully virtual for a second year, you can still participate in support local businesses. Buy a pen. They're still out there. Go get festival, go to your restaurants and um, and support festival. It's it's what we do. It's it's how we love Lafayette. Enjoying festival at home isn't a bad alternative, but Llewellyn is eager to get back to Park International. And we're just trying to enjoy it any way we can with our family and our friends and community. Praying and crossing our fingers that next year we get to celebrate it downtown. Festival will be live streamed on their Facebook page as well as their website. Also, Acadiana Open Channel will be live streaming throughout the weekend. In Lafayette, Iman Boyd, KTC TV3. Well, there are a few ways you can watch Virtual Festival. The festival will be live streamed on the Festival International Facebook page. And you can also watch it on television on AOC. Look for channels 3 and 4 on LUS, R15 and 16 if you have Cox Cable.